അനു and she's uh, she's more free with herself and she's a little bit bossy with her boyfriend and she's a bit reckless and uh, spends too much money never has any savings and the older nurse uh, is in her late 30s and she's in a relationship actually a marriage with a man who has moved to a different country to work and they've sort of lost touch last time kabhi phone kiya tha usne ek saal se upar but she sees herself as a married woman and she puts a lot of restrictions on herself because of that so my character uh, prabha is from a family with like a very traditional values and everything and then she holds a lot of very conservative rigid ideas of things which is always you know holding her back even though when she wants something sachcham vilichu veetilottu varan varunnu naan chenna prathekka oru kalyana okka nishichu kanyaru i think through the friendship yes. with all these other characters in the film is where she kind of realizes it and have a transition or finally take at least a small step that will make her life better so these two women live together and the third woman is facing another issue which is that the gentrification of a lot of areas it's led to like a real estate boom so she might probably lose her where she's been living for a long time because she doesn't have the right documentation for it so the film is about the friendship and the difficulties of these three women and how they are there for each other but also not there for each other and uh, i don't know sometimes i feel that friendships are really important to me but i've also failed my friends and they fa- failed me or we've been there for each other and i wanted to look at all these things sister and roommate ne edayit endukku oru maatram undallo sradhicharam anu avalu oru payano ait ishtathila i was interested to work with the light of the monsoon in mumbai which is a very particular kind of light a bit like this evenings have longer magic hours so it's a bit blue sometimes it's very gray and i like the the kind of uh, melancholy that this light has which can be both romantic and also really depressing and also in mumbai during the monsoon season uh, a lot of people cover their houses and roofs and windows with a blue plastic because the rain is so hard that it can come into your place and there's always leaking and it's like 95% humidity or 85% something like this so there's a lot of moisture and to protect from the moisture you might have like a really expensive looking building but there's like blue plastic on it <laughs> so it's a very particular kind of color of the city in the monsoon and which is why the first part has this blue light and a lot of use of blue color and the second part of the film when they go on a trip to drop off their friend uh, it's in ratnagiri which is a southern uh, district a, a few hours by train from mumbai and uh, here the soil is red a lot of the houses are built with this red rock so i wanted to have like these two completely different spaces where perhaps their uh, what they couldn't have time or uh, possibility to dream in the city they could when they take this holiday do patanjo shiga kaiyunga and life engine irikum avanukku ship and do future not to prepared all the time i feel i feel like it's a once in a lifetime moment for me <laughs> now i am sitting here in the cans film festival like i never ever imagined in my life walk in the red carpet in cans and also apart from that i really want to uh, was our film with our team and also looking forward to the feedbacks from cans audience and this is huge for me i have to say that i'm pretty nervous <laughs> have uh, uh, the, the the cinema is just absolutely magnificent uh but also i don't think i've had so many people watch my film at one time so it's going to be uh quite overwhelming but i also feel really privileged that i have this opportunity because it really gives a good exposure for the film and the life of the film 